I, I really like it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Carol Lachey here. If you are new, thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you decide to join the family by subscribing down below. If you have been with me for a while, you already know we are on the way to the come up. Like, sweetie, 400 subscribers on the way, 9 times out of 10. By the time you see this, we already reached 400 subscribers and we're on the way to 500 subscribers. So go ahead and make sure you share the video. So if you've already read the title, this is 10 binge worthy Netflix series plus a bonus. Um, these are shows that I've already watched. Some um, I started watching while we were in quarantine, and some I watched a while back, but they are really, really good. Um, I will say they are different various genres, so never know. Some you might be into, some you might not. It's some for everybody. So if you're interested in getting some of these binge-worthy Netflix series, let's get into it. All right, so for number one, we have Blacklist. I'm trying to see if I'm going to have picture of it or something pop up I don't know. but blacklist um it has seven seasons obviously just in case y'all don't know looking down i got my notes um they have seven seasons and the genre is really like an action american thriller drama types um stories very good um i'm not really gonna take background because we have a trailer must be good to be home again sir well we'll see about that Good afternoon. I'm here to see Assistant Director Harold Cooper. Tell him it's Raymond Reddington. It really is him. You must have many questions. So let's begin with the most important one. Why I'm here. One man, his name is Ronco Zamani. You want him. I want him. So let's say our interests are aligned. From this point forward, there's one very important rule. I speak only with Elizabeth Keene. Who the hell's Elizabeth Keene? Agent Keene, Donald Wrestler. They need you to come with me right away. So can you tell us what's going on? Nothing. I have no history with Reddington. They tell me today's your first day as a profiler. Congratulations. So the second one's gonna be Grey's Anatomy. Y'all, I watched Grey's Anatomy freshman year. I'm still, they're still putting out new seasons. Um, there's a total of 16 seasons and counting. There's only 16 on Netflix. The 17th season as they, um, as they release are actually on Hulu, which I actually was thinking about doing a video on a Hulu, Hulu series as well because there's not, everything's not on Netflix. And that Grey's Anatomy is also a American drama series. Like I said, not in the background because we have a trailer. I don't have a story. I'm just a girl in a bar. Just a guy in a bar. When something begins, you generally have no idea how it's going to end. O'Malley, Yang, Gray, Steven. Rule number one, don't bother sucking up. I already hate you. That's not going to change. The house you are going to sell becomes your home. The roommates you are forced to take in become your family. You're my sister. You're my family. You're all I've got. And the one night stand you were determined to forget becomes the love of your life. This is forever. The seven years you spend here as a surgical resident will be the best and worst of your life. You will be pushed to the breaking point. This is your starting line. This is your arena. How well you play, that's up to you. All right, number three is how to get away with murder. So as you can see, these are really, I like crime. I like medical. I like, you know, spy, CSI type um, stuff. How to get away with murder is sick. Like hands down I'll, i'm gonna let the trailer speak for itself it's also american thriller series and it has six seasons and counting just like girls anatomy on um, the seventh season is on hulu and as they release they they upload i'm continuously watching it
find your seat. You don't want to be a sitting duck when the shooter gets here. I see the world. I don't know what terrible things you've done in your life up to this point, but clearly your comments out of balance to get assigned to my class. I'm Professor Annalise Keating, and this is Criminal Law 100, or as I prefer to call it, How to Get Away with Murder. Here we go. I will not be teaching you how to study the law or theorize about it, but rather how to practice it in a courtroom like a real lawyer. Every year, I choose four students to come work for me. This assignment is used to help me decide who that is. I'll go. Find the defense that will free our client. Step one, discredit the witnesses. You should really pay attention. You might learn something. Are you colorblind? Yes. The rest of you step up your game. Step two, introduce a new suspect. How'd you get this? It wasn't exactly legal. And we just have to get creative. Step three, we bury the evidence. You got him to lie on the stand. I did my job. Everything after this moment will not only determine your career, but life. You can spend it in a corporate office drafting contracts and hitting on chubby paralegals before finally putting a gun in your mouth. Or you can join my firm and become someone you actually like. I want to be her. To the night. We're open to Professor, oh my God, thank you for keeping this between us. You're a misogynistic ass. Stop screwing the students. How'd you get that email? I don't kiss and tell. The body stays where it no, is. No, the body is what gets us caught. Either we all agree, or we stop right now. Just do it. It's the only way to destroy the DNA. That's how you get away with murder. Okay, so the fourth one is going to be Scandal. Um, I feel like some of these you've probably already heard of probably haven't just gotten into them because I know it took me a minute to get into Scandal. Scandal is also considered an American thriller series. Um, it has seven seasons but it's actually done with so after you watch the seven seasons there's there's no more Lizzie Pope. I, I, I really like Lizzie Pope. And she's a bad bitch. She's the best bitch. Okay here's a trailer. He needs a favor. I need to see him. That's not possible. He wants the favor. I do not work for him anymore. So you tell the President of the United States to make time. In Washington, D.C., if a scandal is about to break, this is the woman who will make it disappear. Put the guns down. So he can shoot me? Now, the only person who's going to get shot is me. But... I got this. Guns down! Olivia Pope. I trust my gut. My gut is what? Never wrong. Never wrong. We're lawyers, but this is not a law firm. We're crisis managers. We make the problems of our client, big or small, go away. You're going to Camp David to meet with the president. Why? We are friends. You and I are friends. He's the leader of the free world. Your life makes me feel unsuccessful. It always comes down to my gut. My gut tells me everything I need to know. He killed her and ran. Definitely killed her. We're taking the case. Why do we even bother voting? deal in damage control. It would be a mistake to think there will be no consequences to you telling lies about the president. Your career is over. It's handled. You can damage your own life. Olivia Pope fixes things. That's who she is. You need fixing. Everyone in this office needs fixing. We could have had it Turn your head a little to the left. You lie, all bets are off. Best job you'll ever have. You'll change lives. Slay dragons because Olivia Pope is as amazing as they say. Do you actually believe threatening me is the correct path to getting your way? I can have a reporter out here in 20 minutes with cameras asking why you are persecuting an innocent Medal of Honor winner. That was me threatening you. ABC's Scandal, coming to ABC. As 
so number five is a new one and it is money heist y'all my cousin told me about money heist and i it don't make no sense how i was done watching it before he was and he was the one who told me about it money heist is amazing it is like in the name a heist um about it's a spanish movie italian movie it's a foreign movie. I don't want to mess up the language that they're speaking. It's a foreign movie, so it's actually um, recorded in one language and it's like translated in a sense into English. It's really good. It's a heist about them just really breaking the banks. <laughs> the banks of Spain, on different types of banks. Um, it has two seasons, but technically it was like part one, part two, part three, part four. So technically it's four parts, but when you put them together, it's just two seasons. They are also um, still recording. They just haven't released their new season yet. My name is Tokyo. But when this story began, that wasn't my name. Don't move, or I'll blow you in half. How would stealing about 2.4 billion euros sound? Mom, I'm thinking about going on a trip. No one has ever hit that hard. Not even in New York, London, or Monte Carlo. So if my picture needs to be in the news again, at least it'll be for the greatest heist in history. And every family in this country will be asking, what are they doing now? What are we robbing? The Royal Mint of Spain. It's absolutely imperative that the police don't have any idea what we're doing. But be very careful, because the second any blood is shed, we'll no longer be Robin Hoods, but just a bunch of plain motherfucking punks. It's time! So just trust us and obey. But all that peace was only the calm before the storm. Things were about to get so fucked up that we came very close to losing it all. Thief. And murderer. All right, six is gonna be Riverdale. I watched Riverdale a hot minute ago. Um, it was good enough for me to start back watching it, so that says something. Um, it is also an American drama series, and it has four seasons. I don't know if they're still making, if they're still making new seasons. I don't know, but it's good. You should check it out. Here's the trailer. And number seven is Good Girls. Now this right here, this is crazy. Cause at first I don't even remember why I clicked on it, but I was like, whose mom is this robbing and stealing and making money? Like what? Now this is considered an American comedy drama series cause it is hilarious. Um, right now it only has three seasons and counting the fourth season is on Hulu as they release. It's on Hulu. Um, it's really good. I feel like it's not that it's relatable, but it's hilarious. It's like your typical um, mom just doing crazy shit. Okay, everyone's going to school. All you. They gotta work late. Who knew so many people bought cars on a Friday night? <laughs> my husband and I work all the time. The transplant list can take months. My church is having a ring of friend. I'm not a church person. You're definitely a stuck up bitch. We have hardly anything in our account. So when do you want to do this? Deadpool, you wanna? You know I'm bringing bombs. I handled the mortgage because you couldn't. Who are you, Oprah? You know how fast they're going to lock you up? We're not gonna sit back and let everything be taken away from us. Eight is Designated Survivor, which is really good. Um, it's I've realized I watch a lot of movies and series that have a lot to do with like presidency or stuff with the White House, and it's like I don't know if they they trying to tell us something about our future or what. But it is also an American um, thriller series and has three seasons. I feel like three. I feel like that was it. That was it. It was only three seasons. Hello. Hi, Daddy. Who is this? Your daughter? No, that's not possible. My daughter's asleep, and I know that because I kissed her goodnight almost two hours ago. When are you and Mommy coming home? There are times when we make history. It doesn't matter. You're going to be asleep by then, right? And there are times when history makes us. Goodnight, Daddy. 
Good night, little P. <laughs> to ensure you that the same American dream shared by our fathers, our mother. It's weird. Yeah. Ours just went black, too. Secretary, you need to put the phone down. Mike, what the hell is going on? I said, put the phone down. Is this some kind of explosion? <laughs> Mike, please, just tell us what you know. Capitol's been attacked. Congress. Capitol. Eagle is gone. Sir, you are now the President of the United States. This is the most devastating attack on our country since 9-11. Anyone claim your responsibility? Not yet. The guy's never been elected to anything. Did you know President Richmond fired him this morning? Now he's the president. Maybe he'll realize he has no business running the country. We're in a state of war. Tom Kirkman is not going to get us through this. What the hell am I doing here? I'm not the guy for this. Is dad scared? Dad's not scared of anything. Do you really believe I should step down? I do. You may be right. But for now, I'm all you got. The world thinks it can test us right now. What do you want me to do, General? Declare war? There are different ways to show force. We are going to do this my way. If it doesn't work, we'll try yours. You're still on my side. My mom is on your side, Mr. President. Whoever did this is just getting started. Mr. President, you need to be stronger than you've ever been before. Mr. President, you're live. Five. I do solemnly swear Four. that I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States. So help me God. And number nine is Queen of the South. Now for y'all that are kind of interested, it's almost like Money Heist because you know, Money Heist is about like what were they called robbers you know thieves now queen of the south is about like drugs and kingpin and stuff like that don't know anything about it but it's a really good show it has three seasons it is also a crime tv drama very much interesting the trailer speaks for itself i am known all over the world as america's biggest drug queenpin but no one knows my story until now. Queen of the South is about Teresa Mendoza and her journey to becoming the queen of a drug empire. Teresa falls in love with this drug dealer. If this ever rings, because I'm dead, and you gotta run. You have to leave your house. From that point on, she's hunted by the cartel because she knows too much. Stop the car. Teresa, you're safe here. My dad, stop the car! Help me. If I stay, you'll kill me. Where could you possibly go that I wouldn't find you? Where are we? Welcome to America. Camila is a drug lord. Whatever he wants her for is very important. Why is my husband so intent on finding you? Camila protects Teresa because she knows I have something that she wants. You want to die? Get down! Run. You want to leave? Stay with me. Teresa gets trapped in this world. All the little drugs that your mule didn't. And she realizes that the only way she can escape is by conquering it. He's ripping you off. If she's wrong, I demand reparations. She did it. She might be more valuable than I thought. Traditionally, most drug lords are men. This time, the ladies are bosses. I didn't want to tell you this. People are wondering if there's change coming. You're gonna die. I am doing this. It's all over the news. What the hell happened? This is an act of war. It's not. It's survival. Yeah. All right, number 10 is the 100, which is very odd because it's like people from space who are like think that the earth is infected or something or it's dangerous they're like oh we're gonna send 100 people to the earth and all time crazy shit happened <laughs> um it has six seasons i'm pretty sure they're done recording i haven't watched it in a hot minute 
It's been 97 years since a nuclear apocalypse killed everyone on Earth. Fortunately, there were survivors. We're told the Earth needs another 100 years to become survivable again. Prisoner 319, hold out your right arm. No, it's not my time. I don't turn 18 for another no. month. No! All 100 of you. Prisoners of the Ark are sending you because your crimes have made you expendable. Stay put if you want to live. We have no idea what is waiting for you down there. It's so beautiful. <laughs> the planet simmering in radiation. We know they've landed, but communication's down. These wristbands are all we've got. Take them off and the Ark will think we're dying. That's the point. Here, we do whatever the hell we want. I am done following orders. Damn, I love Earth. Get out of the water now! <laughs> think this is a game? We won't survive here on our own. See you on the other side. I told y'all there was gonna be a bonus because honestly I had like 15 series that I just love but I was like we're not about to sit here and talk about 15 different series I'm like we're just gonna do 10 but I was like I really don't want to cut this one out and I feel like 11 is just a weird number so let's just do 10 with the bonus so the bonus is <laughs> Quantico so Quantico has three seasons. It's basically like a, um, what is it called? A boot camp, like a, it's basically a boot camp slash training camp for like people that are going to the FBI. And this girl is being set up at the end because it's kind of like a flashback. Because at the beginning you see, boom, she like on a bunch of rubble. And then rewind and they tell you how she got there. So that's the trailer. My name is Alex Parrish. Being an FBI agent had always been my dream. The FBI Academy is life and death. Let's see if you can survive. My fellow trainees came from all walks of life. Do you think he could just coast through on his luck? Probably. I'm not <laughs> coasting on anything, Taylor Swift. Brian Booth. We had sex in your car six hours ago. <gasps> Didn't think you'd want everyone to know that. Why not? We were all there with the same goal. I hate that I can't stop looking. I don't. 30 years old and I am back at summer camp. But what happened next? Oh. I could never see coming. Don't move! Keep your hands where I can see them! I'm FBI! Come with me. We got a tip. It was an inside job. How old do you know these people? You think one of these people is a terrorist? So that is the end of my binge worthy Netflix series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. As always, I am open to suggestion videos. I have nothing else to do. Hit me with it. What's good? What's up? Comment down below. Heart this video. Like this video. Follow me on all my social medias. And I will see you in my next one.